Can you imagine sending children up chimneys to clean them? Well, in the 19th century, that was a shocking reality. Yes, you heard it right. Kids as young as six were used as chimney sweeps, facing dangerous conditions and health risks. Thankfully, laws were eventually passed to protect children from such hazardous work. Let's be grateful for the progress we've made in workers' rights and child labor laws. Did you know that the first recorded recipe for ice cream dates back to the Tang Dynasty in China between 618 to 907 AD? That's right, long before modern ice cream borders, ancient Chinese emperors were already enjoying this frozen treat. Talk about a cool piece of history. Who would have thought that our favorite dessert had such an ancient origin? Next time you indulge in a scoop, remember, you're tasting a tradition that's centuries old. Did you know that in medieval times, people believe that wearing garlic could ward off vampires? Yes, you heard that right. Back then, Garlic wasn't just for cooking, it was a vampire repellent. So next time you see someone wearing garlic, they might not be trying to keep vampires away. But hey, you never know. Did you know that Benjamin Franklin, yes, the founding father himself, invented swim pins at the age of 11? That's right, before he was flying kites and thunderstorms or drafting the Declaration of Independence, he was already making waves in the world of innovation. Talk about a true Renaissance man. So next time you're enjoying a leisurely swim, remember to thank Ben for giving us a fantastic way to glide through the water. Did you know that in ancient Egypt, cats were worshipped as gods and mummified when they died? Yes, you heard that right. These furry creatures were considered sacred and even had their own goddess, Bita. Imagine being treated like royalty just for being a cat. It's no wonder they were so pampered back then. So next time your cat gives you that look of superiority, just remember they might have some ancient Egyptian royalty in their blood. Did you know the ancient Olympic Games were originally a religious festival in honor of Zeus? That's right. Back in the day, Athletes competed not just for glory, but to pay tribute to the king of the gods. Imagine sprinting in the same stadium where ancient Greeks honored their deities. It's fascinating how sports and spirituality were intertwined in such a legendary event. So next time you watch the Olympics, Remember its divine origins.